What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Very exciting one because we are in a studio. We have Azamat, we have Shubes, we have Miss Mona because we're shooting for Everford Apparel. Michelle is in behind the scenes. We've been gone for a long time, but Everford is back, bitch. There we go. I love it so much. You like the energy? <laughs> okay, here we go. to shake you, rearrange my mind, erase you, erase you, I waited, all my pride on the table, I was willing and able, will, 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 willing and able, all of my patience has run dry, cause you've been Hi, my name is Jessica. I'm from USC. Um, I'm really excited to be here. I'm not really sure what we're... Step bro, what are you doing here? It's a porn joke. All right, very nice, great success. What do you think? It was great. Yeah? It was a great start for I, uh, the first shoot of the year. I brought Oz onto the team to like exclusively shoot nothing but clothing and then everything happened in like 2020 and you know, but we're we're back. I ate a lot of candy though. Yeah, the first first photo shoot of the uh, of the new launch of the of the future. I think it went really well. Yeah, yeah. And just like a sandwich, that's a wrap. That was a sandwich joke. Wraps are sandwiches. All squares are rectangles, but not all stop signs are octagons. Wait, not all octagons are stop signs. Hey man, oh I missed you man, I'm so sorry I couldn't take you to the photo shoot, hello, I love you, I love you, do you want to go to the park, do you want to go to the park dude? Oh, ho, ho, ho. look what we did, guys. It's a wine fridge. You, uh, you put wine in it, and I don't really drink wine, and I never have anyone over, but I, f I figured this would make me more of a sophisticated adult. Yes, let me just grab my 2019 Chardonnay out of my wine fridge, and now you might be like, Max, dude, why don't you just put it in the regular fridge? You don't drink that much wine, dude. I don't... I just wanted, I, we hadn't spent a bunch of money on the house recently and I needed some content. So I was like, hey, build some stuff. And then we're gonna get a glass inlay right here and glass shelves. The glass quote, the guy came earlier to measure all this. It's gonna be around $800. And then this wine fridge was, uh, I don't know, I'll put it on the screen right there. So was it worth it? I don't, I don't know. And now we gotta go get some wine. I don't even know what, what do you put the red wine in there? I, You know it's something that I always forget here in Texas is that big old monster truck Jeeps are legal because normally, like I'm from Virginia if you didn't know, 29 years born and raised, uh, I would be clenching my butthole driving that thing because you get pulled over for how tall it is, how wide the tires are sticking out, just a bunch of crap and here in Texas they're like, sir, please pull over, put your window down. That's the sickest Jeep I've ever seen. By the way, love sour strips. Okay, so what do you think about this one? Decoy Pinot Noir with a little duck on it. I feel like companies are so lame. Like, if I worked at this, I'd probably like paint it like a wild color, maybe blue or something, and then if they came up and asked me, I'd be like, well, I painted the duck blue because I've never seen a blue duck before, and to be honest with you, I wanted to see a blue duck. Guys, so it turns out you're supposed to chill white wine, <laughs> not the red stuff. Okay, what do we got? We got Chardonnay. Uh, oh, they sing about that one song. It's like, it's a Marvin Gaye and Chardonnay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Talk to the, talk to the, talk to the hand. There's so many options. Like, you, you got cupcake, you got layer cake, 
you got oh the duck again oh this is stressful there's too many options like do you just I, like in my head i'm like okay the more expensive ones are going to taste better and then like why are these ones that 2019 then you have 2018 but 2019 which is newer is like that but i thought hey, wine's supposed to age i'm like i'm just stressed out and then this is the only brand that i even remember barefoot from like college i feel like all the sorority chicks were like i got my barefoot match Okay, so I have to show you what I got. Now I know the current way to do it is like the big bottles, but I found this stuff, which is like boxed wine, because then you won't be able to break it. I feel like technology is changing and just the times are changing. You know, it's like no one writes postcards anymore. They just send a text message. Your mom calls you, you're like, mom, I don't talk on the phone. Just, just text me, right? Times are changing, so new bottles. And then I found, it's wine in a box. And it was like $18 and you get 34 glasses. Whereas those stupid little bottles were the same price where you get four glasses. It's like think smarter, not harder, you know? All right, so I'm just gonna put this into there. Oh my, it's like a tight fit, but I think it'll work. I'm gonna give you guys the exact scenario, okay? <laughs> yes, and that's when I invested into Bitcoin as well. Would you like some wine? Okay, let me just get it for you. Oh, yes. Fancy talk about things. Hold on. <laughs> that's a good year, yes. Okay, that's enough wine chat for now. Unfortunately, I can't drink this, although I'd love to. Actually, to be honest, I'd rather have a margarita, but we cannot drink because we must go get the Audi. Mona's here to pick me up. I'm so excited to get my car back. Baby back, baby back, baby back, Audi RSQ8. You know, I love driving the big Jeep, but having this luxury back, it just feels so good. And then you have this speed. Oh my God. Okay, uh, enough of that. So you know how I got this car because I was waiting for Jeep to come out the next generation. Well, they finally did, but it's just like, uh, uh. and they haven't announced the SRT yet, but I'm gonna put a picture on the screen of what the current one is and what my old one was. And you're like, <laughs> It's kind of like you, you see your, your ex after not, you know, talking to them for a long time and you see the new person they're dating, you're like, that's the person you're dating. <laughs> but to be honest, if they do come out with a really cool SRT, there's a good chance I'll go back because I mean, <laughs> who doesn't love getting back with their exes, right? It always works out. They always change. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering what was happening during that montage, is I had to get a lot of the PPF redone, which is the paint protective film or something like that. Uh, it's essentially like a condom for the car. It's on the headlights, all of this. So if I'm driving down the highway and a rock is like, boing, 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 it hits the car, the car's gonna be like, not up in here. Like even Dwayne Johnson couldn't mess up my paint now. That was a rock joke. <laughs> or, or if Golem was there, or Graveler, or Geodude. Okay, bye. Hey, Mona, tell them the good news. Tell the people what happened today. We got into first Target. Ooh, I hinted at it in my previous video, but we're going into our first Target. The address is right here. It's in California. If you're near there, it would just help out so much if you could go stack some up. And we're actually like rolling out into like a whole bunch of test stores. I think actually a couple hundred in June. So this is just like a, a one-off, like direct to the store, but that's how we started with H-E-B. And now we're in like hundreds of those. So it's just a really, really exciting day. And I'm just like, I'm so, ooh, I feel like there's only like one thing that could be making me more excited than this. Hey, man. <laughs> hey. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> you're happy this time, huh? Do you remember me this time? <laughs> Hello. Hello. 
come here. Hey, man, <laughs> you look so nice. You look so handsome, man. Okay, now that we got our buddy back, I'm gonna go drop him at the office and we're actually going to look at a new warehouse space. You know we're expanding crazy with sour strips and last time we toured a little facility. Now we're about to tour a big facility. I have to explain a little bit, but let's check it out. Cue the montage. Now that is a big building, 185,000 square feet. To put this into perspective, the current building that we're running sour strips out of, we're renting 1,200 square feet inside of a 60,000 square foot office, right? Or warehouse that Christian is running Alphalete distribution out of. Now we were trying to find something around five to 7,000 square feet to grow the company sour strips. But the problem is to find something in this area that is around that size, that has HVAC, that is not a piece of crap, that has loaded docks it's hard to find so it just so happens that Christian also needs to get out of his current space because he's outgrowing that and this might be a great move for him and we could basically do the exact same situation we have now where we take a small section of a big warehouse but we could do it here in a much bigger warehouse and this little area at the corner all the main bay doors and entrances are over there but this could be like the sour strips one right so we have our own entrance door you have your own loading docks and we would basically build out exactly the amount of space and offices we need for everything related to distribution and I think this would just be the, the best thing I, I this could be it guys this could be the future that could say sour strips soak it in guys you're seeing it here you might be like oh it's a cool building and then one year from now you're like I remember when Max is making this video and I forgot to the thumbs up button I'm gonna go back and watch it and click thumbs up button Oh, my chariot has arrived. Thank you, Jeeves. Come on in, sir. Hello, Hi. please close my winged door. Tesla, close. That's so crazy, it does that. All right, we are going to try out a Mexican restaurant, which I believe in Spanish is Mexican restaurant. David is just like, do you need the menu? I was like, no, I don't need it. It's, it's, a, it's a Mexican restaurant. He's going to have chicken, <laughs> have steak fajitas. Okay, well, I'm telling you, when you go to anywhere that's that it's like a sushi place, or you go to a Mexican restaurant, why do you need to look at the menu? Okay, your sushi They is have like the same thing. Spicy salmon with the crunchies. <laughs> that's your sushi. Yeah, right? you watch my videos, don't you? <laughs> Sometimes. It's all the fucking time. tuna. Okay, guys, I don't need to show you the, the entire meal. I just want to show you this one thing. It's called a mango margarita, and I've pretty much changed lives. Like, I, I think I almost invented the mango margarita, okay? Like, I, I, I pretty much invented it. But I'm going to show you what a perfect margarita looks like. Not only do you have the goblet, amazing size, okay? The girth and the height is just out of this world. You never get anything on the rim. No sugar, no salt. It literally never do that, okay? And now the frozen consistency, you'll notice there's no liquid like separation down here. That's a perfect consistency. There's also no little like water sitting on top, or not water, but like not frozen stuff sitting on top. It's the perfect everything. And then you taste it. I just had my first orgasm, again. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this video up quite differently than I imagined, but I figured I would talk about this a little bit. Um, tomorrow, January 22nd, which is the day before this video goes up, is the anniversary of my dad's passing. If you're newer to the channel, um, he passed away in 2005 from a disease called ALS, and Maybe you remember like the ALS bucket, ice bucket challenges. Yeah, that's the disease that he had. And it was a, a terrible one, um, like a lot of them. But it basically deteriorated him as a person. And you slowly start to lose your ability to talk. And he could just, uh, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like uh, mumble words. And you lose your ability to, to walk and to eat on your own and to do anything, right? 
And what sucks about it, <laughs> besides that you're losing the person, is that the person's still there, you know? Like, he's still inside. He, he just can't talk. He just can't do anything. <laughs> and, uh... When I think about my dad, it's one, <laughs> uh, it's one of the few things that really gets me emotional uh, because when I was younger, I couldn't really comprehend that I was losing my dad. And it's not until I'm older that I was like, why didn't I spend more time with him when he was sick? I, w I was away and I just, I did. there's a million things that I wish I did differently. And uh, it's like one of the true things that really makes me sad and hurts me. And I know on this channel, I don't show emotion a lot. I don't show me being sad. I don't show um, a lot of downs. You just see this energetic, high energy guy. And that is how I am. And I want you to understand why that is. And it's because of my dad. My dad was someone who all he wanted to do was put a smile on people's faces and bring energy and love into the world. And I, this would go on forever if I tried to tell you all the, the great things about him. But I want that for me in the way that people perceive me. I think that I was put on this earth to entertain people, to bring happiness, to make people smile. Um, and that is what I have found through this YouTube channel the ability to do that. And I love it so much. And if you ever wonder why I am so energetic and wacky and wild, it's because nothing I want more than to make people laugh, than to make people smile, than to bring happiness into people's lives. And do I turn up my personality on camera? A little bit. Do I kind of say dumb things on purpose to, to you know, make you laugh? Yes, and it's, it's all because I want to be the same person that my dad was with how much joy that he brought to everyone that interacted with him. And if I can even be an ounce of that, then that's good enough for me. But just know that I do get sad. Um, I do get lonely sometimes and uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing my best out here. And I, I hope that over the years of making videos that I have brought happiness into your life. And uh, I guess it, it sucks that my dad isn't here to see everything that I've done. And uh, yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess the whole point was to <laughs> give an anniversary. You know, I love you to my dad. And uh, <sighs> just spend time with your family, guys, because, you know, you never know uh, what can happen and the people that you love the most are no longer here. Uh, that, I, that's going to be the end of this video. Sorry for uh, an emotional twist. <laughs> I haven't even edited up this video. I know it was super funny, but uh, yeah. The wacky Max, the, the, the really immature, crazy guy, he gets sad too. He gets emotional too. I just don't always show it because there's enough sadness and bullshit out in the world that all I want for my content is to make you guys laugh and to make you smile. And uh, if I can even do that once a week for you, then I feel like I'm doing my purpose. So thank you for watching this video. I, uh, I'll be more upbeat in the next one, and that's it. I love you, Dad. <laughs>